You know, most people uh, who have addiction problem, uh, they actually have underlying, uh, underlying something, either a mental illness or, or uh, behavioral issues or, or something going on in their life. You know, uh, most of the times, I always said that addiction is really a manifestation of, of, of something, you know, of an underlying something. People, people use drugs because they're miserable. People use drugs because they're miserable. People don't, yes, most people start using drugs for recreational or partying or to feel good or to uh, get high, but eventually people, they try things and usually they stop. People who continue for years and years to use drugs, there is always underlying something. Usually either it's anxiety or depression or something. They're just miserable. I mean, people use drugs because they're miserable. So, yes, you know, we have to uh, treat the underlying thing, whatever it is. Most of the times could be depression, anxiety, bipolar. I, uh, contrary to common belief, uh, schizophrenics don't use drugs. Uh, they I usually actually avoid drugs contrary to most people and actually most books uh, because schizophrenics, they're paranoid naturally. So they're really paranoid from any drug. They don't, they're not going to, to stop at some corner waiting for somebody to give them some cocaine. They, they, they're already paranoid from the darkness. They're already paranoid from people, you know. They have paranoia. So they're not really schizophrenics, rarely if ever use drugs. It's contrary to most people around the world believe. So it's really not what people think about schizophrenics, that, they, uh, uh, that schizophrenia is associated with high use of drugs. That's absolutely wrong. The only thing that schizophrenics use more than the usual is probably smoking. Now, going back to the, going back to the drug addiction and the mental illness. Well, you know, if you have an anxiety or if you have depression, I mean, and you are already, let's say, using opiate or cocaine or alcohol, you're not going to stop because you're using the, uh, you're using the, uh, uh, the alcohol or the drug to actually cope. So, uh, unless you really, uh, unless your lifestyle changes and you change your lifestyle and your environment, you're not going to, you know, even if you go to a program uh, for 30 days, you're going to get out of there and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to use because you're miserable. You're still miserable. Nothing changed in your life. You're still in the same environment. Uh, why should you stop using drugs? So it is very important for people who use drugs to change their lifestyle. Actually, that's the treatment. And everything else comes second, such as, you know, Suboxone, Vivitrol, uh, Detox, what have you. So, if somebody has depression, I have to treat his depression or her depression. If somebody has anxiety, I have to treat the anxiety. Uh, uh, but again, again, uh, the answer really is the person. They have to work on their environment. They, uh, if your girlfriend, for example, is an alcoholic and, and you're trying to quit alcohol, it's not going to work because when you come home, even if she uh, does not drink at home, I mean, eventually, you're going to start drinking again. If uh, your boyfriend uses cocaine, you know, eventually you're going to relapse. And so you have to change your environment. It's a common sense thing, you know. Uh, so I always say to my patients, you know, uh, I can help you with the detox and with the craving, but I can't help you changing your lifestyle. 
So you have to change your lifestyle. Now, saying that, I must add that you're going to have to take it one day at a time. It doesn't work unless you really take it one day at a time. Not one hour at a time. Again, like some people say, and not like one week at a time. It has to be one day at a time. It has to be 24 hours at a time. Meaning, be clean for one day, the next day is another day. It works better than anything. So, and I always say, I have a famous saying, don't analyze it because you'll paralyze it. So if you analyze something too much, it's not going to work. 